if you're thinking about your loyalty program and how to reconstruct it or even to begin one, you need to think from the center in. Why am I doing this and what am I trying to accomplish? And so we thought about, well, at the end of the day, having talked to enough customers, quantitative and qualitative research, they come to Las Vegas by and large, because by and large it's a leisure destination, but 80% still come for leisure. They want to be wild. They want an experience. They want it to be memorable. That's tough to do with a loyalty program. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a card. What do you do? But we didn't lose and we haven't lost focus on that. How do we do it? Let's talk, and we talked our way through personalization. What are all of the things that we're going to do to make this a personalized place for somebody? Access is big here. If I can get through that velvet rope, we have a campaign. You stand on the other side of the velvet rope, mlife.com. It's simple in Las Vegas. It is about access. Everyone is a VIP, a defining and understanding that experience and translating it and relating it. And then a moment for everyone. I explained one earlier with the gentleman who wants to get a line pass to get his kid on the roller coaster. We have moments at the other end of the spectrum where if it's your birthday, your wife can bring you Lakeside at Bellagio, and if your favorite song is something from the Rolling Stones, we can have and will program the fountains at Bellagio to do your favorite Rolling Stones song. Let me tell you something. You go home, you remember that for a lifetime. That's what our loyalty program is trying to do. It goes beyond points and tier credits. Although we have them and we need them, it's designed to go beyond that. And then ultimately, what are we? Understanding what we are and what we have to offer. So it's why, how, and what. Start from the center, work your way out.